Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a waypoint system similar to this one. As you can see, we can look through our waypoints. We can also do a random, so it will choose a random waypoint. So let's get to it. This is our starting scene. I placed some sphere objects on the scene. This will be our waypoints that the player will travel through. All the necessary assets for this tutorial will be added in video description so you can easily follow through now we are going to make a player so right click on the hierarchy create empty and let's call it player reset it transform and inside the player let's take a cube for now later we are going to replace the cube with a character now let's reposition the cube also change the scale something like two yeah this looks good create a script call it way point manager drag and drop the script to your player open the script we are going to take the reference for our waypoints so public list transform waypoints transform Go to your scene, drag and drop your waypoints to the list. Let's take a variable called public full is moving, and below the start, we are going to create a new method for public void start moving. Here, I'm going to set our is moving to true. And we are going to call our start moving from the start. Take another variable called public int waypoint index. Set waypoint index to zero whenever we are start moving. Now go to your update method. So if our is moving is true, then we are going to calculate the moving function. But if it's not, then we're going to return from our update transform dot position equal to vector three dot move towards which takes current position to target position which is waypoints at waypoint index dot position going to use time with delta time for smooth and we are going to control the speed with a variable let's call it move speed let's write that because we didn't declare the move speed so public float move speed now let's go back to our scene keep our move speed like 10 if we start playing let's see yeah our play is moving to our first web point now we are going to make sure that whenever we reach one waypoint, we are going to next waypoint. That's why I am going to calculate the distance first. So for distance, vector 3 does distance, transform dot position to target position, which is waypoints point index dot position. If our distance is less than or equal to 0 0.05 f then we are going to increase our open index by one now let's go back to our scene hit play you see yep our character is going to our waypoints but there is an error that because whenever our waypoint index is more than our waypoints counts it going to get a null for that i'm going to like open index less than waypoints counts then we are calculate the moving function that way it will fix the error as you can see here but one thing you notice like whenever it our player travel through all the oil points it stops that because there is none but in our case i want to also make our waypoints to be able to loop through for looping 
first we are going to make a variable let's call it is loop if our is loop is true is loop is true and our waypoint index is greater than or equal to weapon count then we are going to reset our weapon index to zero let's go back to our scene and let's increase the moving speed like 15 and make the loop true so we play now going to all the waypoints and it's looping through one thing if if you notice like our character is moving to waypoints but its rotation keeps the same it's kind of seem weird so now let's do the rotation for rotation we need the direction first so direction transform dot position minus waypoints index dot position our target rotation equal to curtain dot loop rotation towards our direction in respect to up vector then we are going to transform dot rotation equal to quaternion dot larp which takes current rotation to our target rotation with time dot delta time and we're going to control our rotation with the speed so rotation speed now let's create the rotation speed variable now let's go back to our scene and keep our rotation speed like 10 now if you play yep our character is rotating perfectly I want my waypoint to be at random so if you are making a patrolling system this will help you a lot let's go back to our script create a, another boolean let's call it is random before we are increasing our weapon index I'm going to check if is random is true then weapon index equal to random dot range zero to weapon index dot count sorry waypoints count count and let's call it else go back to your scene make our waypoint as a random now if we start playing you can see we are choosing our weapon index at random we have to replace our cube with a character for character and animation i'm going to use mixamo if you don't know what mixamo is mixamo is a website where you can freely download characters and animation for your game if you don't know how to import characters and animations from mixamo to unity i made a video on it the link will be in video description as you can see i downloaded the character from mixamo and the animations then i made an animator controller this one you can see here it has two animation one for idle and for run and i created a boolean variable which is run if run is true we are going from idle to run if run is false we are returned back to idle now go back to your weapon manager take the reference for our animator so public any matter player any whenever we are start moving i'm going to set pull run equal to true if i go back to unity editor we have to assign our animator controller here so do that no yep we replaced our cube with characters if you want to choose random yeah, it works too so this is for today guys if you have any question or need further assistance please feel free to leave a comment below thank you guys for watching